Hello everybody, Russ Elkins here with Clips of Tips. Today we're going to do a dodge and burn. I like to dodge and burn on a 50% gray layer, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And I also want to show you how to add a black and white and levels adjustment layer to help emphasize the differences between dark and light spots in the skin. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer. And on that layer, I'm going to set its blend mode to overlay. And I'm going to check this checkbox fill with overlay neutral color, 50% gray. The next thing I want to do is to add a black and white adjustment layer and a levels adjustment layer. And these two layers are temporary. In the levels adjustment, I'm going to pull in my whites a little bit and bring up my darks or my mid, excuse me, bring up my midtones to help emphasize some more of the contrast within the photo. And this helps me identify a little bit easier the light and dark transitions. So I'm going to go back to my 50% gray layer. I want to select my dodge tool. And I'm going to find all the, the spots that are a little darker or a little lighter and dodge and burn them. What the dodge tool does is it makes things brighter. The burn tool makes things darker. And I can switch between the two tools by pressing op my Option key. If you're on a PC, you can do it by pressing the Alt key. And it'll switch back between the two tools. Even though you can't see that it switches, it is switching. So let's go in and zoom in a little bit. And we'll start correcting some of these areas. Uh, I'm going to reduce my brush size just a little bit. And I'm going to back that off, edit undo. Uh, one of the things I didn't do is I didn't adjust my exposure and it, you really want to work with a very low exposure. And then you can gradually paint and I'm holding down my option key to dodge. There's a lighter spot there. And with this low exposure of th what I have it set at 3% you have a lot of control and you can slowly paint to make sure that you don't overdo it in streak. This will tend to flatten out the image a bit, but that's okay. One of the things I'll often do, and I demonstrate this in, in the healing and patch video that I have, is underneath chins where there's big transitions of light, I won't try to dodge or burn them all the way down to the point where there, there's an even flow. I'll go in and create a replicate, uh, or replicate the current layer and set its opacity to 50% and use the patch tool to correct that. There is a video on that that I have, so please be sure and watch that. And again, all we're doing is we want to even these transitions of light out so that they're not abrupt. And light should flow across the face like a sine wave, not like a square wave. And I'll dodge a little bit of the lip. Again, this is another place that I would use the patch tool is the insides of these eyes to ease that transition a little. If you look at this, you don't think that it's that I've done a lot, but let's go in and take a look at, we'll take the curves off, we'll look at the before, and that's the after. Again, notice how the transitions of skin tones 
really smoothed out. Any kind of splotchy areas are evened out quite a bit. And even turning the levels and black and white adjustment layer off, we can see more places that can be worked. It's looking pretty good. So let's go in and take a look at our, our before and after. That's our before and that's our after. Thanks for watching this Clips of Tips.